Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Hey guys, Steve Wolf, General Manager of Ta uh, Spalding Decon Tampa. We're here in what's typically sunny Tampa, Florida, but it's kind of chilly. I'm cold at, as a Florida boy here. So the type of cleanup we have today is a level poured. Um, the client actually just moved down here from out of state, um, got out of a, a relationship that kind of provided a little anxiety for, um, for her. She's also a full-time student and working full-time. Um, so it actually got her a little overwhelmed and the, the clutter started to build. Um, it hasn't compounded a lot. So you'll, what you'll see here might seem like it is at the level that, you know, maybe she, you might think she can handle it on her own, but that anxiety level is where we come in as experts and help her overcome that battle that she knows is about to grow bigger. So what you're gonna see here is us doing some, some trash removal and, and a deep clean. Follow me. All right, guys, so we're starting on, on the hoard. What we did is we're starting in the main area, the living room for this house or for this apartment. As you see, what we're doing is we're sorting everything that is keep against this wall over here, keeping some cat food. What is very common in a lot of hoards is that hoarders also have, a, have pets. What we find in most cases is that's uh, the pet is, you know, a companion to them and helps with their anxiety. We find a lot of pets, which means there's a lot of times because they're not cleaning and they're not throwing away trash. They're also not taking care of the kitty litter. So we find uh, cat feces all over the house because it sometimes has, it goes beyond the kitty litter because the cats don't like going, to the, going in the kitty litter when it is full. So then they start to expand beyond that kitty litter and we'll find it all over the house. If you look over here, you can see we actually have some feces. This might actually be just some overflow. This, there's actually a worn piece of carpet right here where the kitty, lit, the kitty litter was sitting here for so long that it's actually, the color of the carpet has changed. It's starting to flatten out. In the carpet here, as I touch the carpet, you can see the kitty litter coming up. It's because when, when the cat goes to the bathroom, it likes to kick, um, kind of cover it up, but now it's throwing feces all over the thing. So after we clean up this area and remove all the trash and, and sort it out, we're gonna vacuum and treat this rug so we can pull all of that out, out so she has a nice clean rug again.
guys hungry? Got some moldy potato wedges for you. So the biggest thing is you're going through the trash is you have to be careful and very meticulous on, on looking for things. I actually found her debit card as I'm looking through the, the trash here. So I'm sure she might have she might have been looking for that or you know she might have uh, already reordered one because she thought it was lost. But what I'm gonna do is I've also found some other sensitive documents. I'm gonna put them together, put them to the side, that way that she, she has them. Um, Cause I don't wanna throw away something that's very important to her, but if it's buried in, a, in the trash that's here in the corner, she might have not even known it was there anymore. She might have already lost it. A lot of times those are the frustrations that you find with hoarding people. They, uh, what happens is as the trash starts to build up or the contents start to build up, they start losing important stuff. We often find you know, the deeds to houses buried in mountains of uh, garbage. Uh, you know, priceless heirlooms, you know, something that's been handed down from generation to generation, buried under piles of, of stuff. Um, so we have to be very careful. We can't just come in like a hurricane and rip everything up and throw it away. We have to, we have to take our time and make sure that we're very diligent on what we're looking for. Pizza, anyone? Found an eye watch buried under everything. Found a piece of jewelry buried underneath everything. I'm gonna set these things apart uh, to the side. I'm sure that she probably would wear this every single day if she knew where it was. So now that when she comes back, she'll have her eye watch back. She'll have her piece of jewelry back. If you see in here, there's other jewelry in here to the side. So what we do is we put all the jewelry together and then we're gonna photo document it. Um, show her that we found all this, this stuff. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna take this sheet out side. I'm gonna shake it off. I'm gonna vacuum the actual mattress. That way I can put the sheet back on. I don't have a new set of sheets here. If I did, typically I would do that as a courtesy. I'm gonna remake the bed for her. Um, that's part of making her house a home again. You want to give her the creature comforts that makes her feel like we did a good job for her. So guys, I'm making the bed right now. I don't know how to really stage the pillows. I'm a married man. But my wife does a lot of that. Every time I make the bed, I do it wrong. So probably doing it wrong. At least she'll comment that when she watches the video. Um, but try my best. I'm making the bed. If you guys support me in the way I make a bed, please help me out. Let me know, comment below. Tell me if I do a good job. Putting back some resemblance of a good, happy bed, something that's gonna be a great creature comfort for her. You'll hear me use that quite often when I'm cleaning a house, creature comforts. Those are things that help you kind of get through the day, day to day. All right, guys, got something real gnarly here from it came from underneath the bed Ooh. fruit fly heaven a little bit of mold Whew. things like this is why you wear the face respirator don't know what what you're gonna come in contact with gloves Whew. that was gnarly So I got a question for you guys. Ketchup, vinegar-based product. You 
keep it warm, store it in your cover, or because you opened it, you refrigerate it. I think it says it does refrigerate after opening. What's your thoughts on that? So guys, last time we were doing a, a stove, you talked to us and you commented, I'm gonna try this because I knew a little bit about cleaning the stoves and everything. You guys commented, and like I said, I read your comments about a little trick. Let me see if I can do this. So you said remove those. Remove our little silver trays. And I was told that this lifts up. That comes from comments from our viewers. I told you I read it. You guys told me that I could pop this like a hood of a car, get in here and really scrub and detail it. Thanks for your comments. All right, this is our ULV fogger. We actually put a, a disinfectant and odor neutralizer inside of it, and then we fog the residents after we've already completed our cleanup of the hoard and our deep clean. What this does is it sanitizes and disinfects the uh, area that we've already cleaned, and then it, like I said, it's an odor neutralizer. One of the things that you will find when you're cleaning places like this and you're trying to deliver the, a clean residence to your customer, that they're gonna use all of their senses when they come into the, the apartment, what they can see, what they hear, what they smell. So this takes uh, effect on the smell portion. They're gonna have a nice, clean smelling uh, apartment when they come back that will garner a lot of a lot of favor and then they will match that with what they see which is, is that the apartment has been cleaned out it has been vacuumed it's been sanitized that will increase their satisfaction level just finished up a hoard here. Wasn't a big one, it was a level 
but there's a lot of boxes, a lot of trash, fruit flies. We had a lot of stuff that we had to clean up and everything. But follow me, I'm gonna walk you through the, uh, the condo and tell me how I did or how we did. She did most of the heavy lifting. That's Shelby, my, con my counterpart. Remember, I can only lift 60 pounds. She does 120. All right, follow me. All right. So here's the living room. Remember when we came in here, wall to wall Amazon boxes, bags of trash, clothes everywhere. There was a big uh, mark right here where the kitty litter thing was on the floor and kind of spread out. Uh, we took care of that, kind of organized it. These are all brand new items. A lot of these things haven't even been opened yet. We have furniture from chairs, Am other Amazon boxes, stuff that she wanted and bought for her apartment so that she could kind of make this her, pla her place again, okay? So we cleared out this space. We also uh, deodorized and sanitized the air as well. So there's a, there is a, um, a fragrance of cherry that is, a, uh, that is in the apartment. Hopefully she likes cherry. I forgot to ask before we started, but that's the fragrance that I picked. Come this way. So the next thing that we did was we cleaned and decolorized the kitchen. This area had a bunch of stuff stacked over. We, we even had groceries that weren't able to fit into the, the refrigerator because there was other old and moldy uh, food in there. But we made sure that we cleaned that. Uh, you, I don't know if you guys noticed through the video, we, uh, I use one of your tricks. Make sure you comment, like, and share. Um, and I, anything that you teach me, I'll use. And I, if I can remember the name, I'll, I'll mention you. Check out the fridge. Nice, cleaned, organized. That way she knows where all her food is. Good to go. Come into the bathroom. We cleaned off the countertops, reorganized this. Now she has great creature comforts in here as well. That way when she's going to the bathroom or, or taking a shower, she feels nice, calm, and com comfortable. Then we come into our bedroom in here, turn on our light. Let me give you guys a little light in here so you can kind of see what I did, okay? In here, a lot of clothes on the floor, a lot of stuff um, spread out on the bed. Uh, on the nightstand, we made the bed for her, we cleaned the floors, vacuumed the floors, made sure that she had a great place to lay her head, feel comfortable, well rested. She's a student. She, and she needs this place to recharge and, re, and revive before she goes and attacks those books. We want to make sure that she has the perfect place to go attack the world. We, she's gonna be a productive member of the society and the only way to do that is to make sure that she's good at, good at those books. Make sure that you guys like, comment, and share on this video and give me any, any suggestions that you might have. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.